guys, how's it going? My name's Kieran, and today I'm going to bring you my ultimate range guide for RuneScape 2007. Now, the last guide I did got really, really good feedback. Um, it was my first ever RuneScape video, actually, and uh, it got really, really good feedback, sort of like 3,500 views, which your first video is pretty good. Like, come on, that's pretty good. And also, like, no dislikes, which was I was really amazed by that. So thank you for the support on that video. And um, I'm going to bring you another one today, because I enjoy making them, and they go down pretty well. So, um... So yeah, so in this guide, I'm going to be going through sort of different steps to get to 99, mainly uh, cheapest ways and fastest ways, because obviously that's two different ways which people would want to know. I'm going to go through all the armor and equipment you want to know about and want to use, and also quests, because quests do play quite a part in the early stages of leveling up range, and um, it will help you level up more quickly. So, without further ado, let's get into the guide. Okay, so in the first part of this guide, I'm going to be talking about armor and equipment that you're going to be using to get to 99. Now, obviously, this is kind of like the main thing you need to worry about. Um, obviously, you want to make the most of the armor that you can wear and yeah, the equipment that you can wear, because it will just make you gain XP more quickly. So I've just compiled a couple of tables here, um, just showing all bits of armor, all bits of weapons that you can see, um, and the range level required for them. So when you're training, um, just just bear in mind that uh, you, could, you should be wielding and wearing the best armor that uh, you can wear at that time. So, for example, if you're level 30, um, get your maple shortbow, get your avatar attractor, which you can uh, obtain by completing animal magnetism quests. So, yeah, if you do want to just pause the video and have a little look at these, and uh, just make sure you have the best, the best that you can at that time. None of these are too expensive, so you shouldn't be worrying about that too much. Okay, so just before I get into the steps to get to 99, I'm just going to briefly touch on quests. So, I've just compiled a little quest here that will get you range XP uh, from them. So, obviously. Um, this is just a really quick way to sort of a little shortcut, especially doing these first three quests that you can see in the table. That's just much quicker than killing chickens over and over again. It's just something that's more fun um, to get those to get those range levels, and it's quite slow to level up normally at a low level. So I'd recommend doing quests. Okay, so from levels one to ten, you're going to be killing chickens in Lumbridge. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can teleport to Lumbridge using the home teleport spell and uh, just walk across the bridge, follow the path upwards north, and uh, you'll get to that chicken pen. Um, so yeah, it's going to be kind of slow for the first 10 levels, it shouldn't take too long. But uh, yeah, just use the short bow and arrows um, and your best armor, as I talked about uh, uh, about the equipment earlier in the video. Um, if you want to use the knives, they'll be quicker XP, but are more expensive. So from levels 10 to 20, you're going to be killing cows again in Lumbridge, or you can kill them in Falador, there's another spot there, south of Falador. Um, but if you're killing them in Lumbridge, just Go opposite from the chicken pen that you were killing the chickens in. It's literally just opposite, or you can run from the Lumbridge home teleport spell at the castle. Now, this is going to be exactly the same as the chickens, just bring the best shortcode, the best armor you can, or if you use knives, you can use those. From levels 20 to 40, you're going to be killing hill giants in Edgel Dungeon, which is just west of Barak. Now, you're going to be running from the bank or from Barak Center. Uh, all the way down here and to that little hut where that's the entrance to Edgewood Dungeon. Now to get in there you're going to need a brass key and I'll show you all about that uh, in a sec, I'll just show you a little clip. Um, again, best armour, shortbow, knives, whatever, whatever you prefer. Knives are more expensive but are faster XP. Shortbows and arrows, they're not as expensive, um, actually they're quite a lot cheaper, but the XP will be slower with those. Alright, so once uh, you're at this little hut, use your brass key on the door and go down the ladder. Now, the good thing about Hill Giants is that there's so many safe spots you can use, literally. It's it's incredible. It's a, it's a safe spot heaven, if you want to call it that. But literally, just find anywhere. Um, this might be a safe spot, I'm not sure. Is it? No. <laughs> but no, there, there are very many you can use behind these stalagmites, and there'll be some over here as well. All around here, so it's all a good time, and you can kill these Hill Giants. The XP is pretty good, so that is all awesome. Okay, so now from level 40 to 99, I'm going to be showing you the cheapest way to get to level 99. So the first step for this is from 40 to 61, and for that you're going to be killing Moss Giant, which are northeast of our dome. I'm going to be showing you the safe spots which you can use for them in just a second. Okay, so once you arrive at the Moss Giants, you'll see kind of a, a collection of them. Now, they will be aggressive to begin with, like you just saw there, but you can use a number of safe spots. Um, you can sit around this tree. Um, this tree will be a good safe spot, which you can range them from. You can also sort of... Uh, you can sit right here, uh, in this corner, and drag the moss giant around to here. He won't be able to get past his mossy rock. Once they become unaggressive, uh, you can use that fire as a safe spot. Um, you can use in between those two rocks there that you can see. There's just so many safe spots once they become unaggressive, so that means the XP will be a lot quicker. They'll become unaggressive after about, 
I'd say, 10 minutes. And the good thing about Moss Giants is that the drops are really good. I think from 40 to 61 for me, I got about 800k worth of drops. So you'll make quite a lot of money here, and uh, the XP is pretty good. From level 61 to 70, you're going to be killing Tazar Kets in the Karamja Volcano. Now, for this, you're going to need a Rune Crossbow because these have quite a good defense. But Rune Crossbows have a really, really good uh, damage. So use that with Mithril or Broad Bolts, and that will make you hit quite a lot of them and kill them quickly. The XP for this is about 25 to 30k an hour, but you will make very, very good amounts of money with this. Because they drop uh, Obby items, as you can see. He will drop an Obby Shield, because he's holding one. Uh, they drop Obby Capes, uh, Obby Mauls, Obby Swords, all things like that. So you'll make a lot of money through the drops, and I'll show you how to get there in a second. Okay, so once you reach the volcano, you're going to want to climb down the rope and then enter this cave here. Now, obviously, you're going to want your rune crossbow. You want another shield as well. Um, probably the god books, the, the Zamorak or the Guthix one. Probably the Zamorak, that's the better one. Um, they'll be the, the better option for that. So, you want to enter this kind of Tazar city here. Uh, and there's loads of space sorts. You can, I think you can use the mining rocks for these, but I like to use these solver vents. Because they can't. It's a nice safe spot. And the bank is just down there. So, obviously, you'll be hitting uh, quite high with your... Uh, your rune crossbow and the XP will be pretty good. Um, so yeah, no food really needed. I just brought these in case of emergency. They're not aggressive, so you don't need to worry about that. I would only kill these ones because the other ones there are mages and rangers, which obviously that would just make your safe spot ineffective. So um, yeah, from level 70 to 99, you're going to be killing fire giants. Now this is obviously going to take quite a long time because you know that's a lot of XP. But fire giants, they're good XP. Um, they're not the best XP, but it's still still relatively fast and because this is a cheaper way to get to 9 to 9 I thought that these would be the best option. Now you will get quite a few good drops on these, these drops like rune skimters and lots of fire runes, good things like that. So you, you'll make quite a bit of money from this and also just use the best thing you can and I'll show you all about the rope, the girl's amulet and how to get there in just a second. Okay so once you've teleported to the barbarian outpost using your games necklace you're going to run up south, or down south I guess you should say. Um, you're going to basically going to be running through a little hut and to the river onto a raft, which you'll crash. I'll show you in a sec. But um, yeah, just to mention about uh, quickly about this, um, I'm opting for a magic shortbow just because uh, it's cheaper and this is a cheaper method. Obviously, you can use anything you want. Uh, you also want to complete the waterfall quest to access this. Um, that's how you'll get this amulet, which is how you're going to enter the dungeon. I know it's kind of weird to use an amulet to go into a dungeon, but I don't know. It's RuneScape. I'm not going to complain. So. Go through this gate here and board this log raft. Uh, this is when you want to be a little bit careful because you can easily misclick and uh, bad things will happen. You'll end up falling down the waterfall. So use your rope on this rock. Right, like that. And you'll uh, awkwardly float towards your destination. Then use the rope on the tree closest to you. And again, making sure you have your amulet with you. Open this door. Now. You're going to want to run past these these uh, shadow spiders here. These will drain your prayer by half, as you can see. Um, but just yeah, just ignore them and try to run past them. There are many safe spots in here, especially when they become unaggressive, like the moss giants. So to begin with, uh, you just want to go into this doorway. Bring some food just in case they hit you um, whilst you're transitioning to safe spots. So yeah, just uh, go in this doorway, attack them. Once they've gone un unaggressive, you can use this chair as a safe spot. You can go in between the chair and the boulder. You can do lots of lots of nice things. That's what she said, kind of. Not really. Okay. Um, so once you do that, you'll be hopefully level 99 after quite a long time. Now that was a cheap method, so let's get on to the expensive but faster method. Okay, for the faster method, from levels 40 to 85, you're going to be killing yaks in Night is Not. However you say it. Uh, to access Night is Not, you're going to have to complete the Fremnic Trials quest and start the Fremnic Isles. Now you don't need all the requirements for the Fremnic Isles because you gain access to Night of the Knot right at the beginning of the quest, so you won't need any of the requirements. Just finish Fremnic Trials, start Fremnic Isles, and then you can go on to Night of the Knot. Now for this you're going to need, uh, I recommend Iron Knives, um, that will be much quicker than, well not much quicker, it will be quicker than um, using a shortbow. And also your best armour, so that will probably be Void, I'd recommend Void for this, but Dragonhide, anything, sort of the best you can do, that will be fine. Alright, so once you're in Relica, uh, you're going to go to the furthest north um, shipping port thing. What do you call this? A pier. A pier, that's what it's called. And you're going to travel to the is not of this lady. Can you throw to me to Night Star? Let's set sail. So you'll set sail, and um, you can see the yaks in the, in the mini map already. Um, this is a really good place to train, actually, because 
Even though you don't really need a bank that often, unless you want to bring like range potions or something. They're not going to hit you particularly much because they're level 22, but they have 50 hit points, which is why they're a pretty popular popular way to drain because they've got... They don't do very much damage, and uh, they got high hit points. So there's a bank over there you can see in the minimap. And uh, Easy Axe. Easy Axe is going to get decimated by my short bow. As you can see. But yeah, that is how you get to level 85. It's going to take quite a long time, but with knives... I'm using a bow in this example, but with knives it won't take too long. Now this is where it's a, a little bit complicated, but uh, to get to 99 from level 85 you're going to be killing skeletons and apatol. Now I'm not actually going to show you how to get there because it's a very dangerous place and uh, I'm not really I'm not really confident enough because I don't really have the levels to do it in old school runescape but I do in uh, the current gen runescape runescape 3 because I'm level 95 range I believe. But um, anyway, um, you might know how to get these to get to this, uh, this location here. You will need to have completed or done a large part of Monkey Madness. So you just, uh, you'll crash on this island here, and then you just run towards this uh, this dungeon here. Now you will need anti-poisons, because running through that jungle you can get poisoned by a snake or something. Which might be good. So what you do, they're basically like a big maze of tunnels, and there's loads of skeletons there. And uh, basically what you do, you're going to want to bring your red and black chin jumpers, because they do multiple damage to multiple enemies. I think it's up to nine enemies. So if you can uh, get them all into one big spot, and... Uh, I don't think you can say sort them, so you just gather them all into one sort of square, three by three square, so there'll be nine of them. And uh, throw your red or black and chompers at them. Black are better, but more expensive. Red are still good though. Use a void, because void will help you. It does 15% extra damage when you do range, or it might be 10, I'm not sure. But um, yeah. If you can't find a safe spot, then bring prayer potions. I think you do have to bring prayer potions anyway to pre melee against these skeletons, because they will hit quite high. But make sure you bring, obviously, everything I said here, and also an emergency teleport, just in case things go wrong. And this is really something you can't AFK, um, but it is very, very fast XP. Just make sure you're concentrated, and uh, you'll be on your way to 99. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this 1 to 99 range guide for Runescape 2007. I hope you enjoyed this. I put quite a lot of effort into this. It took quite a lot of time, but I enjoyed doing them nonetheless. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you leave a like, like rating if you enjoyed. Uh, Comment in down in the description any ways whatsoever I can improve my video, sort of the quality, uh, anything to do with the video so I can improve it for next time. That's really what I'm aiming to do, kind of put out videos, aim to improve them so I can put better content out for you guys to enjoy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow us on Twitter at The Real Checkpoint. Actually no, it's just at Real Checkpoint, yeah. Don't even know our own Twitter. God, I'm a disgrace, aren't I? But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.